Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, this episode is America underpassing, underpassing, because I do believe there's a, a sign here, hopefully a very good sign, that the coronavirus is passing through and we may be reaching a peak. I see a deceleration in the number of confirmed cases. So I'm going to try to make this video very simple. I'm not going to really talk about myself today. Um, not doing too much. I'm enjoying my Sunday, relaxing inside my house with my family. We're eating together. The wife is cleaning. I'm on the couch relaxing. That is so awesome. Took a shower. Kids are happy. I think the wife is happy. And if I'm lucky, later tonight, I will be happy. All right, so here's what we got. Here's what we got. All right, I'm just going to just jump right into it. Um, I, I'm eagerly waiting for these numbers to come out. So I, I'm hoping these are accurate numbers. These aren't delayed numbers. These aren't, uh, there's not any strange anomalies. I, I think there's some good news to what I'm seeing. I, th I do think we're passing through the peak. Okay, we are literally, we could be passing through the peak from what I'm seeing now. Uh, hope of good signs or a sign of good news, however you want to take it. So um, it's updated here, April 5th, 2020, 7 p.m. My current time is 7.50 p.m., April 5th, 2020. So I'm eagerly waiting. I notice they, it, it gets updated around 7 p.m. And uh, I hope these numbers are not manipulated, fudged, or uh, a strange anomaly. But uh, the total cases as of April 5th, 2020, 7 p.m. As of this recording, April 5th, 2020, 7 51 p.m., uh, three, 337,072 cases with a total death of right here of 9,619. Uh, the new cases today, new cases today, and this is what I'm very hopeful of this number, is 28,222. It's a lot but the good news is that it's less than yesterday's number. It's less than yesterday's number. Also, the new number of new death today, 1,212. Uh, that, too, is less than yesterday's number. Now, I've seen sometimes where the confirmed case is slightly less and the number of deaths are slightly less. But I, I'm, I think this is kind of a good starting point. Um, I don't want to get everyone's hopes up, but I'm hoping tomorrow's number will be maybe around the same or even less. That would be really good news. And again, I hope this isn't manipulated or delayed. I hope these numbers aren't fudged because there's uh, quite a bit of difference from yesterday's number to today's number for some reason kind of weird. Uh, I hope they are also not running out of test kits. That could be another reason for the anomaly. But the number of deaths being less than yesterday's number of new deaths, you know, I, I kind of have to just read it for what it is. But looking at this line chart, um, it still looks like we're starting, we're, we're peaking. Hopefully in the next few days here, we'll start to see a peak, right, the top of this curve. And uh, that's a sign that we're passing. We're passing through it. The virus is passing over, all right? The virus is passing over. So let the virus pass over, all right? Stay inside. Do not go out for the next two weeks at least. 
unless you have to get some groceries do your last grocery shopping for at least the next two weeks and let the virus pass over all right let the virus pass over all right um, let me just take a look at the numbers here uh, this is what I'm talking about April 4th uh, 33,000 April 5th 28,000 that's quite a quite a bit that's a pretty good decent um, reduction uh, the closest thing it came to was like when it was 26,000 then the next day it was 25,000 but that's not really a lot it's more of a little pause I think that may be testing issue I'm hoping and we'll find out we'll eventually get uh, we can get three days three consecutive days where it's the the new confirmed cases are less than yesterday's confirmed cases that's a really really good sign really good sign so I hope this is not a testing issue where they are literally overburdened with test that they can't process or they ran out of test that they can't process any more tests and that's why they came up with a limited number that's kind of what happened in China that could maybe be happening now but in a couple days we'll find out um, there is some good bit of news of the number of death being less but again um, maybe there is a reporting issue that 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 might be the also the case maybe you know information slowly being leaked out to make it seem like it's not as bad as it is we'll have to see we'll have to see I haven't gone outside and I'm not driving around videoing hospitals or anything and I, I, I don't plan on doing that I'll, I'll be honest with you don't plan on doing that at all all right so let me take a look at this number here so this is what I was talking about uh, all the numbers show less all the numbers show less so this is now and you see that uh, the new cases are all in, in, in here it's amazing by 7 o'clock most of these uh, numbers have come in around the same time coincidence I don't know I, I think I think all the uh, uh, website that aggregate numbers probably get their n updates around the same time seems like it anyway is this all fake or is this real I don't know I haven't been outside to confirm it all any of this but let me look at yesterday's number and you see yesterday's number was dramatically more especially for New Jersey I just talked about it today um, it's their total new deaths was 200 and now and, and the confirmed cases was 4,000 uh, if you look at New York, it was 11,000 confirmed cases with 630 new death. If you look at it now, there is a reduction in confirmed cases, both for New York and New Jersey, which I think those are the two basically epicenters. Very, very close because most likely they're pro close uh, proximity to New York City. And uh, but the number of deaths in New Jersey dramatically lower, dramatically lower. Uh, same thing. Let me see. Michigan has actually gone up. Ironically, uh, Michigan hasn't changed. So, uh, is this a limitation of test or testing? Is this a manipulation of of numbers being leaked out? Maybe not. Maybe not. If you look at it individually, so there, there it might be a good good sign. Um, New York and New Jersey having reduction in confirmed new cases and death that's a really really good indicator that at least these two epicenters New York New Jersey have basically they're starting to peak they're starting to peak it'll be interesting to see the next couple of days if it starts decreasing after this so next coming days if we can see uh, decrease both in New York and New Jersey really good sign but it looks like Michigan is 
on its way up. Louisiana definitely on its way up. Let's have a look at yesterday's number. Uh, 2199 with 39 death. It's actually reduced. It's reduced, but their death count has gone up. Their death per 1 million population has also gone up. Let me see. Testing. Not, it doesn't look that bad, actually. I don't, I don't want to say it doesn't look that bad. I don't know what other metrics. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is the testing. Or no, this is the total test. Test per population. 1 million per population population okay so total test and then the confirmed cases it may louisiana may not be as bad as compared to new york new jersey so um things are looking good here let's see where where i am yesterday it was texas 701 confirmed cases to 686 a little less a little less but still they moved up in the number they moved they were they were below georgia now they're above georgia 22 deaths compared to 14 deaths are increasing hmm. anyways that takes me to this website let's just refresh it so things are looking a little hopeful uh now that i know the the peak of the two epicenters i think are new york and new jersey the question is, is it going to pass through a, the rest of America? Is it going to, uh, basically, America's, if you think about it, it's being squeezed. West Coast and East Coast, mostly from the East Coast, is being squeezed in through that way, a little bit slower through the West Coast. Is Middle America now going to get, you know, sandwiched with the multiple strains of, the coronavirus, COVID-19, the Chinese coronavirus, the Wuhan flu, the CCP virus, whatever you want to call it. Um, we'll see. We'll see. So the major metropolitan areas may be, the virus may be passing over the major metropolitan areas. The question is now, what about the rural areas? Is it going to affect the rural areas. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. So 70,000 new cases, still like slightly under 10%. Fatalities have gone up. Um, Harris County still is up. Wow. that Look at that cluster. All these little clusters right here. I am right there. I don't want to be outside. Even though Fort Bend, it's not that bad. But I'm literally on the border of Harris County and uh, Fort Bend County. I'm just at, right at that border. I'm more, I'm obviously in Fort Bend County. Okay, um, hopefully hopefully things are looking better. Um, I was really getting con very, very concerned. You're looking at the fatalities and then demographics. Again, the demographics show 50-50. It goes either way. Actually, right now it's female 47.6, male 47.8, and then pending uh, 4.6 percent so 64 pending 655 are female 658 are male so that is the um, I don't know if, if that's just today or that's not that can't be the total because there's 6,000 so this may be today's case let me see flex infringement date confirm it doesn't tell me the date but that can't be right Maybe it's today's increase. No, it may. I don't know what it is. I don't, I'm not understanding these numbers. They don't seem to add up with the uh, reported case, or even the difference of today's today's. Uh, let me see today's yesterday and now. Six hundred and sixty-eight new cases. It says six hundred and sixty-eight new cases. Why would it? Uh, why would it show 655 and 658? Uh, doesn't make sense. Does not make sense. Anyways, here are the demographics. Still the, still the same. Hasn't changed. Most likely ages 20 through 59 are probably the most affected or infected, I should say. And most likely the spreaders of 
the coronavirus. Most likely, I think so. Death rate has slightly gone up, slightly ticked up. The death, it'll be interesting what the death will be after the, uh, the peak happens because the, the death always lags behind the, uh, the peak. Uh, what is the total death? Total death is 9,567. Uh, I wonder if they'll actually get to that 100,000 that they're talking about. That's still a high number. And uh, here you go, New York, New York, New Jersey. Wow. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the United States of America here as a whole. We have 10 days, 10 days, 10 days as a whole of America. What is today? April 5th? April 5th. So 10 more days till the peak. Uh, it seems to be slowing, at least the first day. Uh, hopefully it'll peak out sooner than later. I'm hoping. Death. Let's see what the total death count was, was supposed to be for today. April 5th was supposed to be 1529. What was it today? I have to look at this thing, or no, this one. Death is 1,200, so it, it seems to be in line. It seems to be in line. Let's take a look at New Jersey. I want to take a look at New Jersey one more time. I think that's going to be my major indicator. Yesterday was 200. It was like 200 was way up here, and it was 71, 71, I think, April 5th. 80, 89, let me see, what was it uh, supposed to be? New Jersey, 71 new deaths. Today, it doesn't mean it's 100% accurate, but it's in within range. Within range, it's back in within range. Uh, four more days of New Jersey, we'll see what happens. Uh, April, April 9th, we'll see what happens. Anyways, I'm going to conclude this episode. It, it appears, it appears that... Um, It, it appears that there was a decrease, and it seems to be a pretty significant, a decent decrease since yesterday's confirmed cases. I hope it keeps up or stays down. Um, please remember, let the virus pass over, all right? All you have to do is just stay home. Can't get any easier than that. Can't get any easier than that. Anyways, please like, share, comment. Tell me what you are doing. Let me know what you're doing. Is this good? What do you think? Is this an anomaly? Or is it being underreported? Are they running out of tests? Is it being manipulated? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, bye-bye.